Hello, welcome to episode 9 of our Ostrich Alpha 4 Let's Play. It is December 17, 28, and we are progressing quite nicely on our not-on-the-grid trademark little area here. Going to have nine houses total, and they are building number five. Then we'll have some granaries here. We have markets already. I think they should all be good to go, and they are fabulous. We also built a salt works last uh, episode already producing salt, so that's looking fabulous. We can stock some in the trading post as well to sell. So we'll go ahead and just leave that 4,000 there and we can sell it. In fact, well not, not to these people, but we can see what else. So they're already expecting clothing to be exported in raspberry as well. Yeah, so that's looking fine. Let's go ahead and turn that on a turbo mode. See, these trees we planted in year two are already pretty much fully grown over here by the town hall. That's looking very nice. Animals should be doing well, and it looks like they are. Cart shed looking good. Milk supply looking a little low, but we'll get there. Okay, no, we're fine in the granaries right here. That's good. All right. So I think what we're going to want to do this episode is continue growing our housing supply because that in turn will allow us to have more workers and laborers. So what we can go ahead and do, they're going to be busy with this for a little while, but we can start thinking about other places that might be nice to put houses and also some houses with gardens that have larger gardens. So I like the idea of having a little bit of variety here. And we're also going to think about putting some houses down here, possibly. But I think the people moving into these houses will be able to work here. So that should be A-OK. -okay. That house is done as well. That should be moved into relatively quickly. Oh, they got three kids. Okay, we saw those people last time. Looking very good indeed. Carpentry, nothing ordered. You know, we could probably stand to have uh, another cart shed built somewhere. And if I had to guess, probably somewhere else kind of close to production. That, that one would probably work pretty well for there. It probably wouldn't hurt to have another one down here somewhere. Even though there's carts for this, but... You know how these things go. We'll place that there. That'll get built eventually. So we've got this and they, uh, oh, they are actually almost full up on this. Unless this is just full of snow. I don't think we'll really know for a little while. Because they only have a little bit of charcoal. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe it's just because there's nobody over here. Of course, we can't really do anything with the lime works until this has a batch done. So we'll get to that eventually. But I'm really excited to see how this uh, comes together. We can go ahead and put some trees in here. I think we might want to do, what did I put over here? An ash tree? I think I did. So this is, yep, that's an ash tree. So we will put a couple more of these, because these houses don't have yards, so they're not going to have any... Uh, Anything like that. So we can go ahead and put between all the little houses right here. It'll look fabulous. And then right here in the corner of that, just a few trees. And then of course our gazebo right here in the middle, I think is going to be pretty good looking right here when this is all said and done. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a big family that moved in with an adult child, so he'll get married relatively soon, I would imagine. And we have 139 now. Things looking fantastic. And they are speed building. We can also build another uh, building office at some point when we get to be a little bit bigger. But we're not quite there yet, so we won't worry about that. At any rate... 
I think what we might want to do here is put up some fences to kind of encourage people to go through certain areas. So let's go ahead and go to our fence number four and kind of create just one of these type of things. Just funnel them a little bit. It won't be perfect, but hey, this is supposed to be a little bit of a different area, so that is fine in my book. We'll go and do something like this too. And that will kind of funnel people around. Now we could even possibly put a fence around this whole thing right here if we wanted to. And the fences are free anyway, let's well, let's try that out. The problem with the fences is you do have to have individual segments. Right, and now the snow is melting slightly. So let's go ahead. Just do one of these. All right, like so. And I'm actually going to put a little archway right here right between these two uh, markets. And then we'll connect a fence to that. Yeah, so now we got a little bit of a fence right back here that doesn't look too bad. And then we can do the same thing, more or less, to behind this granary. Ah, this uh, carpentry right here is kind of in the way. So we can actually... Let's go ahead and get rid of that fence right there, and we'll do one of these, and then we can actually come out like this. And there. That is kind of a little separated area right here. That'll make things look a little nicer. And of course, what would a little uh, archway be without some dog rose bushes? We'll just pop those right there and those will look beautiful. This will help things stay a little more organized over here. I think we are going to have to get rid of this campfire though, because it is, uh, unfortunately, I didn't do a good job of placing it. Placing all of this stuff, the campfire was already there. We are we are doing so so well and this is looking fantastic. If they ever build this gazebo, then we'll uh, we'll see that as well. So why don't we go ahead and kind of complete this little round area right here? And we'll do a little bit of something like this. Again, this won't be entirely symmetrical because we are trying to get away from the grid area, but hey, that doesn't look too bad. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. It's orderly enough to tell that somebody cared, but not so orderly that you are questioning your existence. Now, if I can get archways to fit in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Then over here as well. Mmm, yes. Very good. We do have a messenger. Nobody's buying salt, but we do have... Oh, no, we don't. Okay, well, that's uh, unfortunate. We don't have any of this stuff. But that's okay, because we don't need any of it. We are doing just fine by ourselves. Now, because I am a stickler for little annoying details like this, we will fill in these gaps right here. Yeah, perfect. Just to make sure they can't get in these little tiny hole spaces. Hey, <laughs> cool. All right, so let's put some bushes right here. Wonderful, wonderful. Same thing over here. All right, so that house is just about done. 
and then they'll be able to build the gazebo right here. And then we'll have our weird little uh, <laughs> kind of circular community right here. Still don't know what the reason for this existing would be, but I think it's kind of cool, so nothing wrong with that. Hey, and the gazebo's done. Perfect. Now this area out here, however, is pretty bare. So we should probably think of some ways to dress this up, maybe some more trees, but uh, for right now I think this is fine. Farm is already, I think they've done all the planting. Wow. All right. Looking fantastic. Cows are doing well. Uh, we're about to get to a point where we can just kill all of these bulls. We can go ahead and slaughter most of the year old ones. So we do have a newborn calf. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And our slaughterhouse will have something to do. Mm hmm. I really like this. Oh, you know what we didn't put over here? <laughs> wells. Well, 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 we, uh, we might need those. So I'm going to go ahead and put one there. And then we'll go ahead and flip that around and put another one right here. Those are pretty important. So let's go ahead and build those. And that should help substantially. That would be fantastic. And we might also need to build some more uh, hay barracks. I always click the wrong button for those. All right, so I can't fit one there, but what I can do since we have livestock up here in the salt works is I can put at least one up here. So we'll do that. They'll have access to hay for their guys in here that are you can't see them, I don't think. No, you can't see them in there, but they rest assured they are working. They're doing uh, they're doing their thing with their salt, and that's fine. All right, so this granary is set up, and this one will be as well. So let's go to another granary and just copy all of these settings. So we've got one that has all of the uh, the citizen growable crops plus beef, buckwheat, honey, and potato. So we'll do the exact same thing over here. Mm -mm -mm. Cabbage, carrot, cucumber, onions, and raspberries. Then beef, buckwheat, what were the other two in here? That was this one. Honey and potato. Okay, very good. And then this other one had milk, flour, fish, dried fish, pork, sallow, chicken meat, and chicken egg. You know what? I'm never going to remember. <laughs> flour, fish, dried fish. We don't even have fish yet. Dried fish. And then I had pork, sallow, chicken meat, chicken egg. Now, I know there's probably some of you asking, why didn't you put in the other foods that you haven't put in the other granaries yet? Well, salt, uh, we can store in a granary if we wanted to, but since they have limited storage now, I just try to keep that in one spot. That is not a granary. Sunflowers, we're not selling for food. Sunflower oil, we have at the oil thing, so we don't really need that locally. And then wheat, we're not selling as food either. So, you know, that's fine. Let's check what our, okay, 2,500 for everything. Okay, for this one at least, 2,500. It's got to be riveting YouTube content watching me type 2,500 into every little line right here. But part of the fun of doing a Let's Play is showing everything about the game, not just cutting every three seconds. No, some people like those things, but I tend to enjoy the more authentic playthroughs where it's, you know, actually the process of playing the game. So that's what we will do. And then these were all 500. And of course, we'll have to turn on purchasing for these as well. 
almost there. And then what did I do? Okay, let's go ahead and hire and then turn these on. What was my supply for this one over here? 4,000, 6,000, 4,000, 4,000, okay. All right, looking good. Everything is looking pretty nice. And then we have this fully set up. They'll just be supplying. Ah, well, that would solve that problem if we did that, wouldn't it? These guys already, they can't have, oh, they do have little gardens, but they don't have land. How does, oh no, those people have purchased that. All right. But they do have the flowers, and I think that is fantastic. And people are using the benches too. Wow, oh, three people on that one. All right, so the cart shed that we built in the area I already forgot about down here is finished. So let's go ahead and order five carts. Then we can hire the two guys. Of course, they probably won't want to work there. Oh, no, we got one. So I guess I could check where these people are working, actually, because the game lets you do that now. Labor, 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 unemployed, labor, market stall, labor, labor, unemployed, smithy, market stall, stone mining camp. Okay, so he works there, and he works at the stone camp. Granary, unemployed, labor. All right, well, no system is perfect, right? But this is pretty close. I'm pretty satisfied with this so far. I think this is looking pretty good. As far as expectations go, I think I've exceeded those for myself. And they're already starting to wear their paths down, but I think we might be able to decorate this area a little bit more with a few more trees. So what about right in the corners here? Okay, just right like that. That should help a tiny bit. I don't want to put too much, but I, we might do some bushes around here at some point. Let's see, what, do you think these people would like a chapel? We can't build the church yet until, well, I guess we technically could. But I want to find a really cool spot on the map to put the church. My last playthrough, I had it on a point. This is also a, a little pointy. Maybe we'll do it down here, because I, uh, I had a graveyard as well. But we will get to that in due time. Our farm is looking fantastic. They're already harvesting. Okay, no, that's just, uh, they ran out of space against the fence to put their stuff in. Man, this is just, this is all looking so good. I am very pleased. Oh, we got 24 pigs. That's, uh, that's too many pigs. But, uh, the rest of these are just little babies. Well, as long as we don't run out of food, I don't think it's a problem. I'm going to unprotect... A couple of those so those can get slaughtered. Okay, so as soon as he's done resting, he should go and slaughter a pig. Yes, and he's going to take the cart five feet over there to get a pig. You know, they don't put cows in a cart, although I guess cows probably can't fit. But this is exactly why I put this uh, cart shed, cart parking, whatever you call it, right here, because he has to go here. And that just makes his life so much easier. Wow, look at these trees. This is what I was talking about when I said, hey, let's put a little tree-lined street. I can't get the camera angle low enough quite. But it's, oh, that looks so nice. So pleasing to just walk down a nice shady little country street in the middle of a hot day in the summer. Mmm, that's got to be nice. And these trees we planted are growing up pretty well too. And you still can't see because of the trees, but look at that. I love that. They're just going down there. They're having a fantastic old time. Then we're harvesting. Man, things are looking so good. I am very pleased. I still like this a lot. I think this is cool. Granaries are being slowly supplied. Wow, 1,500 firewood this year sold here. All right, they're doing a pretty good business with these little houses right here. So this uh, little market area will serve not only these nine houses, but we'll build some more over here at some point in the future as well. 
And this hay barrack is full in front of the salt works. Yes, it is. These are pretty full. So we could be storing more from all of these hay dryers, but we really don't need it. As a matter of fact, we probably don't need this uh, cowshed pasture anymore either because we have pretty much every year there's going to be one field that is fallow. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I might miss that later. All right, can I sell you something yet? And nobody wants to buy salt. 20 clothes. Can't sell you leather. Sunflower oil? No, we don't have any of that. I guess I could technically sell you potatoes, but that's not really worth my time. Or my money. Honey. You know, we can buy some honey. Let's go buy some honey. Don't need cows. Don't need pigs. Oh, we do need iron. So we'll buy some of that. Yeah, we have so much charcoal. Lime. We're mining our own lime. Nails. We have plenty of nails. Probably from the last time I bought them. But we are looking pretty fantastic. I am very, very happy with this. These guys are, yeah, we haven't even, we haven't even done one, uh, one layer here, but you can see how like this will gradually fill up if you're not familiar with how these work. They'll just layer limestone and charcoal and then they will light it on fire and it'll be full to the top here. It'll burn for a little bit and then they'll be done. But September 19 or 1979, 1729. Look at this. I know this area hasn't changed too much, but I just, I really like this, uh, this little nine house area right here. I think this is fantastic. Well, actually this screenshot right here, that'll be the cover photo for this episode. I really, really like that. I just, I can't get over this little tree lined street right here. I think it's just wonderful. The trees are just too tall to really get down in there. And you can see they're already changing colors too. Late September seems a little early, but man, I wish I could get a little lower. Maybe if I played on a uh, lower screen resolution, it'd let me. But this is just looking so nice. It's it's starting to feel like a real like organic town here. Very pleasant. This is this is the high property value part of town right here. All this nice stuff. These children go to school, and their schoolyard is a, a cemetery. Okay, so you can actually see she is just about finished with her education. She is fifteen now, and this will finish uh, go all the way to the right here, and then she'll have one out of five education. And then I believe when she turns 18, she can get a job and get married and move out, which will be great because we'll have plenty of stuff for them to do, all the children. But I think this is probably a pretty good spot to leave it off for now. We made a little bit of progress down here, beautifying this area a little bit and setting up a couple things for success. Got this second market taken care of, and we will be in very good shape for the next episode and have all sorts of fun building more houses and more production things. But as always, thank you so much for watching these videos and being a part of the community and being just really fun people to talk to in the comments. I, I really enjoy that. And I think it's a lot of fun and it makes it, you know, just really enjoyable to participate in the Let's Play community. But that's all the time we've got for today's episode. We will catch you in the next one.